let's get into the semifinal games for the WNBA for October 1st. Uh, we had two games today. The first game was the Aces versus the Liberty. Uh, the Liberty are up one game. Um, this game was n game two of a best of five, and it was on ESPN2. Rebecca Lobo, Ryan Rucco, and Holly Rowe were calling the game, unfortunately. I've talked about this before. I don't really love them calling the games. It's really, they're really annoying, and uh, I'm tired of them calling games. They've been calling games for like 15 years, and it's boring. I don't find them quite interesting, and um, especially Rebecca Lobo, she's pretty biased, and Holly Rowe is kind of... Um, an annoying interviewer and gets a little too personal for my liking and says things that are a little bit rude to be fair uh but anyway getting to the game the first quarter kelsey plum um got two quick fouls right away in the start of this game aces were playing exceptionally well though um in this quarter compared to the last game game one and the end of the quarter 27 to 22 in the second quarter becky called uh two quick timeouts because the aces were not defending in the paint properly and she was pissed you could see her yelling at her team both times in those timeouts um it was kind of comical uh, but Liberty were getting pretty much everything they wanted um, it was going back and forth the whole quarter until the last two minutes and the Liberty just turning the aces over constantly it ended 40 to 46 uh, going to the halftime show we had the WNBA countdown with LaChana Robinson, Andrea Carter, Chenea Wumake, and Carolyn Peck love to see them great breakdown they have great knowledge of the game um, and they're amazing just women to talk to listen to um, I just love when they, they cover basketball because they've been covering it for years and they have really good chemistry. They always like quipping at each other and stuff, so that's fun. Now I go back to the game, third quarter. Um, Liberty were in control and able to extend the lead. Jackie Young and Asia Wilson were battling and keeping the score respectable for the Aces, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, with less than 10 seconds, though, John Claude Jones and Kia Stokes hit heads when they were going after a ball, sending Kia Stokes to the floor with a head injury. The whole Aces team came over to go help Kia on the other side of the floor. The refs go to review it. There's nothing more to the to the play it was just a basketball play they just incidental contact but Kia is taken off to the locker room for a concussion protocol and I'm pretty sure she has a concussion because right after she fell to the ground you could see her like stumbling it was like hard for her to move um so the third quarter ends 62 to 69 hopefully Kia is okay but she probably has a concussion unfortunately uh they did cut to the celebrities at the game. You had Colin Kaepernick, you had Robin Roberts, you had Alicia Keys, you had Megan Rapino, Sue Bird, and then a whole bunch of NBA players that I do not know because I don't watch the NBA. I don't know who these people are. Go into the fourth quarter, you had the Liberty playing better this quarter, but Aces keeping it pretty tight, um, getting it down to two points at the halfway point of the quarter. Uh, and then they cut to... Teresa Witherspoon was in the in the building, which is great. Um, so Barclays was giving her some love, giving her a little spotlight. Ellie, the elephant, the mascot, was there hanging out, <laughs> hanging out with her. Um, so that was really nice because she played with the Liberty, I think, her entire career when she was in the WNBA. So that was nice to give her a little spotlight, considering what happened with her recent firing. Now back to the fourth quarter. It's three minutes left, and this is a wild three minutes. Let me break down what happened because it was wild. So uh, both teams were paying really fast. The refs were not calling much of anything. Um, Alicia Clark fouled, gets fouled, and she makes one, uh, makes it a one-point game with two minutes left. Sabrina hits a jumper. Then Alicia Clark is left open for a wide-open three, ties the game. Sabrina um, with, uh, goes back and hits another jump shot. Then Sabrina and Tiffany go after a ball. It's like a wild play. And it looks like Sabrina fouls, but the ball goes out of bounds. Uh, Asia uh, misses a jump shot. Then Jackie and Brianna go on the floor battling for a jump ball. It's like so chaotic. Um, Sabrina ends up fouling on the jump against uh, Tiffany Hayes. Tiffany Hayes makes one of two of her free throws. It's 82 to 86. Oh, sorry, 82 to 83 with 16 seconds left. Jackie and Jackie Young ends up fouling Sabrina in next with 11 seconds left. Sabrina misses the first shot, makes the second, 82 to 84. The Aces take a timeout. Aces have a hard time getting the ball in, and it goes out of bounds off of Kelsey Plum. So Leon, Leonie Fibich was the able the person who was able to cause that deflection for the for the Liberty. It becomes um, Liberty ball. Um, Aces ends up getting the ball back, but the Liberty. Uh, you know, it's deemed aces ball, excuse me, but the Liberty challenged that call. They are success successful and get the ball back, get the possession. Liberty have the possession with 10 and a half seconds left. Sabrina Inescu is fouled on the inbound and hits both of her free throws, 82 to 86, with 8.9 seconds left. Asia hits a jumper, 84 to 86, with 5.6 seconds left. Liberty take a timeout. Brianna, Brianna Stewart is fouled on the inbound. She hits both of her free throws. It's 84 to 88. Five seconds left. Jackie Young tries to make, hit a three. She misses. She tries to make another three. She misses. Liberty win. <laughs> 
it was wild. So now the Liberty have a t uh, two wins to zero. So they leave. They can. Uh, they're going to go back to uh, uh, the Aces home court, Las Vegas. And if they win that, it's a sweep. So we'll see what happens. Um, it was a very, very contested game. It was very uh, intense, I'll say that. Um, the refing in this game, I would say, is not great. <laughs> Lots of inconsistent calls, more fouls in the beginning of the game, and then the refs just stopped calling obvious fouls towards the end of the last quarter. It was really weird. Um, now let's look at this box score. I thought I had it up. Here, where is it at? Okay, box score for today. For the Aces, Jackie Young had 17 points, 6 rebounds, 2 blocks. Alicia Clark had 13 points, 1 steal. Asia Wilson had 24 points and 7 rebounds, 1 steal. Um, Chelsea Gray had 14 points, 7 assists. Uh, Tiffany Hayes had 10 points, but it's just that was not, it was just too much, like, going back and forth, um, and it was just not enough firepower, a lot more defense on the Liberty side. Um, for the Liberty, Benajelena Hamilton had 8 points, uh, Brianna Stewart had 15 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds, uh, 1 steal, John Cole Jones had 14 points, 8 rebounds, um, Sabrina Nescu had 24 points, 9 rebounds, I believe, is that a rebound? Yeah, 9 rebounds, almost a double-double. Courtney Vandersloot had 12 points, Kayla Thornton had 9 points, it was just a, a lot of firepower, and Leanna Fiebich had eight, 6 points, it was just so much more uh now go to the second game which was also on espn2 but i think they kicked it to espn3 unfortunately but this was the connecticut sun versus the minnesota lynx the sun were up one game this is game two of best of five um pam ward monica mcnutt and angel gray were calling this one which i love i love all three of them and they have really good banter um in the first quarter um came into the i came we came into the game late because um the aces and liberty were going at it for a really long time so that game went over it was four minutes and 57 seconds left in the quarter um and it was four to five it was such a low scoring game so apparently uh lots of missed shots to start the game on both sides and the quarter ended 10 and 12 so super long court low quarter but both of these teams are very defensive minded so that's kind of not surprising but sort of surprising in the second quarter so much physicality lots of fouls that weren't being called um some were some very interesting refereeing some officiating i don't know bridget carson picks up her third foul with six minutes left in the second quarter so that's pretty key she had to go sit down uh there's one point where marina mabry and afisa collier go after a jump ball and afisa overreacts and starts pushing marina which is ridiculous they don't call it a foul or anything it's just a jump ball but like nafisa was definitely overreacting to that um mcbride at one point a couple minutes later Mc, uh, kayla mcbride hits marina mabry in the face during a layup and then immediately after she goes she goes back in and she shoulder checks her <laughs> and, and um uh the ref sees that and call and calls mcbride for the technical foul it was like what is going on links why are y'all so so mean right now so petty so angry like i get it you lost the first game but like you don't need to act like this like calm the fuck down it was too much so anyway it was a lot of physicality uh, lots of defense no calls um and then at the end of the quarter Maisha Hines Allen hits a buzzer the buzzer beater <laughs> crazy it was 30 to 36 at the end of the second uh halftime show WNBA countdown again love them fun breakdown of both games love to see it third quarter we get back to the game they chatted with Cheryl Miller because they love to talk to the coaches while they're they're in the in the act of the game i hate this but they had her on like you know earbud they were talking to her and cheryl miller even commented on the bad officiating and hoping that it would get cleaned up in the second half so you start this uh quarter the Lynx start out really strong they extend the lead to 11 points the sun do cut it short they get it to like down to like three points or something like that but then the Lynx come back extending the lead again um there are more fouls called in this quarter mainly against the sun to be honest but then there were a string that were called against the Lynx. um and Alyssa thomas uh hits a quarter buzzer beater as well it ends 49 to 58 in the fourth quarter is much like the third quarter links maintaining that lead uh mcbroud mcbroud mcbride kayla mcbride ends up fouling dejanae carrington really hard actually she comes down really hard and carrington jumped up and was about to go off on her and her teammates had to come and calm her down so that was kind of funny uh so a lot of anger going on in this game a lot a lot of tension a lot of passion. continue to fight until the end of the game but uh, the Lynx prevail 70 to 77. So pretty close game. Now the series is tied one and one. So we're going to go back to Sun's home court to Uncutsville, Connecticut, and we will see what happens there. At the end of the game, the Lynx do what they always do when they win. They do the electric slide, which I feel is so cringe. I can't believe they still keep doing that. It's so, ugh, I hate it. Anyway, 
Uh, let's look at the box score for this game for the Sun. Dewana Bonner had 17 points, 6 rebounds, 5 steals. Alyssa Thomas had 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. She was on triple-double watch but didn't hit it very close. She had 2 steals. Um, uh, Dejana Carrington had 14 points. Marina Mabry had 15 points. And what I think is really uh, telling is that Brianna Jones only had 2 points. So, like, that probably played a big factor that she was not really popping off for this game. Um, and neither was Ty Harris either. Uh, for the Minnesota Lynx, um, Bridget Carlson had nine points. Nafisa Collier only had nine points, but she had 12 rebounds. She was she was having a little bit of uh, offensive uh, trouble last tonight, but she still had 12 rebounds, which is pretty amazing. She had one steal, four blocks. Um, the, the, the crowd so that was really nice so that was the breakdown for these semifinal games there's going to be definitely a game three for all of the teams but there's there's going to definitely be a game four for the sun versus the Lynx because now that it's a tied series so looking forward to that those games are on friday i believe on espn be 